A wheel and axle is a simple machine. It is made by taking a rod, called the axle, and inserting it through the center of a disc, called the wheel. The diameter of the axle is always less than the diameter of the wheel. When a force is applied to the wheel to make it spin, the axle also spins because they're connected. You can also apply a force to the axle and make the wheel spin. That is how bikes and cars work. The axle spins the wheel. When the axle rotates a half a turn, the wheel also rotates half a turn. This multiplies distance, which means the bike travels a bigger distance and moves faster, but you have to pedal really hard. Our focus in this activity is applying a force to the wheel and make the axle spin. If the wheel spins half a turn, the axle spins half a turn. This is used in steering wheels and screwdrivers. In this activity, we will use the simulation to discover the relationship between the wheel radius and the axle radius and how it makes work easier. There are barbarians here that can be used as the input force to push on the wheel. They're gonna push make this wheel spin and that will drag this rock that's the load or the output force a distance of 25 meters. What we can do is change the size of the wheel or the size of the axle and see which makes it the easiest for the barbarians. We can start by figuring out the minimum input force, that's the number of barbarians, needed to move this rock using this wheel and axle. We're going to set the wheel radius to 15 meters and the axle radius to 10. So the wheel to axle ratio is 1.5. Now we can see that one barbarian is not strong enough to move this rock. It takes eight barbarians to move this load. Now you can see that each barbarian is walking 37.5 meters, but the rock only moves 25 meters. Now the wheel to axle ratio was 1.5. That's also the ratio of the distance that the barbarians walked to how far the load moved. 37.5 meters divided by 25 meters is also 1.5. The mechanical advantage of this wheel and axle is 1.5. That means it multiplies your force by 1.5 times. Let's try this again, but let's reduce the, the radius of the axle. Now the wheel to axle ratio is three. Eight barbarians can easily push this. So we wanna find the minimum force needed. Four barbarians is the minimum force needed to move this load. Remember, the wheel to axle ratio is three. Now each barbarian walked 75 meters and the load only moved 25 meters. The mechanical advantage of this wheel and axle is three. That means it multiplies the barbarian's force by three, but they have to walk three times the distance. Let's lower the axle radius down to one meter. Now the wheel to axle ratio is 15. Two barbarians can lift this load, but we wanna find the minimum needed. Now one barbarian can move this rock all by himself because the wheel and axle is multiplying his force into a much larger output force that can then move that load. But you can see this barbarian has to spin this wheel many, many times. That means he has to walk a very, very big distance. Now, the wheel to axle ratio was 15. That means the mechanical advantage is 15. So he should have to walk 15 times the distance that the load is moving, but it'll only have to use 1 15th of the force. 
This means we can predict how far the barbarian has to walk. What number divided by 25 is 15? And that's 375. So the barbarian had to walk 15 times the distance, but would use 1 15th of the force to do that. One way to make a wheel and axle multiply your force is to make the axle radius smaller and smaller. What about the wheel though? Let's focus on the wheel now. So I'm gonna set the wheel radius to 10 meters and I'm gonna leave the axle radius as one. Now, once again, I wanna find the minimum number of barbarians needed to move this load. The wheel to axle ratio is 10. That means it's gonna multiply their force by 10 times. If they have to move that load 25 meters, they're gonna to have to walk 10 times as far, but they'll use 1 10th of the force. They should have to walk 250 meters. Let's see how far they walk. Perfect. They walked 10 times the distance that the load moved, but they had to use 1 10th of the force. Let's try making the wheel radius smaller. Let's make it five. Now, the wheel to axle ratio is five. Two barbarians cannot push this. It takes three barbarians now to push this uh, load. If the wheel to axle ratio is five, then they should have to use one fifth of the force, but have to walk five times the distance. 25 meters times five is 125 meters. In this activity, you will continue to explore the relationship between the wheel radius, the axle radius, the mechanical advantage, and the input and output force needed to move this load.